Hello folks, it is RC62 and the Genie. Say hello Genie. Hello. How's it going guys? And uh, we're just kind of cruising around today. I thought I would take the opportunity to try to respond to Muzzle Mike's request for what gear do you use for videoing. And I thought about uh, doing this sitting in my house so I could show you my gear. And I thought, eh, I'll do it on the bike and I'll just put up some pictures. So, for video moto vlogging, my setup uh, has been for the longest time a Contour HD camera with a separate Sony voice recorder with a mic stuck in the cheek pad of my helmet. And I, I originally, way back when I first started, got one of the original GoPro uh, SD editions, the, the standard, and that thing sucked. So when Contour and GoPro both came out with their HD versions, I kind of shied away from the, uh, from the GoPro. Uh, anyway, I like the Contour HD form factor. It's great. Uh, On-off is very easy because there's a very large uh, slide on the top. Uh, the form factor is great as a helmet cam. Uh, one of the best selling points of the Contour HD, in my opinion, is the laser alignment sights. So once you stick it on your helmet, all you have to do is hit the button again and you get these two little laser pointers sticking out and you stand in front of a wall and just turn the front lens until you're lined up. And obviously if you're too low or too high, you can take the contour out of its mouth and twist it one degree and stick it back in. So from that perspective, it's a great helmet cam. Now, that said, I am on my third Contour HD. The first one developed problems. Uh, which way do I go here, Jeannie? To the right? It says no outlet. Yeah, I want to show you something. Okay. My original Contour HD developed problems. When it would get cold, it would just totally, literally just freeze up. It would seize. Uh, v holder, the manufacturer, was very good. They worked with me on it, replaced the battery, that didn't work, so they just replaced the whole camera. Now the second camera, it had a very, very bad blur issue. Uh, I, only a small area about that much in the middle was in focus at all. The rest was just totally blurry. Everything looked like cotton. So that one got sent back to. And this is the third one that Jeannie's using. And that's the one I've been using for the last year or two. And uh, it works okay. Uh, that one's a little a little bit blurry around the edges, but it's not bad. It's been fairly reliable. But in general, I think the contour cameras have some quality control issues, or at least they did, which limits my desire to buy them again. So I might. Depends. Okay. So eventually I got a uh, GoPro HD, and typically I would use that in conjunction with the contour HD cam uh, as a second viewpoint. And I would typically mount that to my windshield facing backwards towards me or when I'm on the ruckus. Uh, yep, what? Just go straight. Okay. Uh, when I'm on my ruckus, I would uh, mount it to the handlebar. And I've got some little mounts. And I'll show pictures of my various stuff. I'll pop them up here on the screen somewhere uh, as I'm talking about different things. So very recently, I picked up a... GoPro HD Hero 2, the newest version, and I absolutely love this one. Um, with the built-in mic, which is what is recording now, not the built-in mic, but the, uh, the mic jack with a separate mic attached to it, stuck up in my helmet. Let me try to clarify. What I want to show you is the yeah. house to the left. Okay, excuse me for a second. The corner of the left, they're selling it. I wanted to show that one to you. That's nice. This is nice up through here. Oh, I love it. That's nice. Oh, man, I gotta show this to Robert. Jeannie and I are just kind of kind of cruising around looking today, so that's why she wanted to show me this area back here. But anyway, um, I love the new Contour Hero 2. I mean, the uh, GoPro Hero 2. Let me back up. I love the, the uh, GoPro Hero 2. 
I love the fact that it's got the built-in mic jack, and uh, so I don't have to use a separate audio recorder. Uh, while I got pretty good at syncing up my audio and video, it still was an extra step, an extra pain in the butt, and uh, this kind of resolves that issue. The thing that I don't like about the GoPros is the form factor. The GoPro form factor is really great in as much as it is shaped like a, a normal point-and-shoot camera and it's got the nice waterproof housings or the skeleton housings, whatever. The downside is when you try to mount them to your helmet, uh, they're just a real pain in the ass to adjust, in my opinion, and they, they're heavy, they stick out really far, and I'll show you pictures of how I got mine set up. Uh, one tip if you do mount the GoPro to your helmet, uh, top mounting it on the top of your helmet is probably the easiest to align uh, I prefer it on the side of my helmet, and I've got mine mounted here. It's actually mounted upside down. I've got it in flipped upside down mode to record. Uh, that gives it a little bit of a lower center of gravity, uh, so it doesn't pull on my helmet too bad. I don't like the fact that it sticks out as far as it does. And one mistake I made when I put the mounting bracket on there is I didn't think about the fact that I needed to really level the mounting bracket up, either straight up and down or preferably vertically with my line of sight because it's at an angle. So the problem with that is when I go to adjust all the other little bits and pieces that they, all the other little 90 degrees, when I adjust one of them, I have to adjust all the others as well because it, it totally throws it out of, out of uh, kilter. In fact, I'm still not sure I've got this thing level because uh, like I say, every time I adjust one 90 degree angle, I have to adjust one of the others because the whole camera is mounted at a kind of a strange angle anyway. It's not, it's not vertical or horizontal. So anyway, that's, that's the major gear I use for my vlogging. Uh, I use Final Cut Pro for my editing. And um, yeah, that's it. So anybody have any questions, leave comments or uh, suggestions. Oh, uh, one other camera that I use is the Vado, Creative Vado. I believe it's the third generation. It's the one that only comes with a maximum of four gigs of memory. But the color and clarity of that particular camera is very nice. And I only paid 69 bucks for it from Amazon. And I use that kind of as my uh, carry around. So if I'm gonna be off the bike meeting with people, I will, uh, I'll carry that in my pocket so that I can uh, more easily record what we're doing. Anyway, so that's my basic setup. Uh, again, I'll throw some pictures up here of everything and you can see what we're doing or what I'm doing. Do I even know what I'm doing? Hmm, that's the other question. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. I think that's a question Jeannie asks all the time. Does Rob know what he's doing? And there's the chuckle. Okay, say goodbye, Jeannie. Goodbye, folks. Take care. Okay, goodbye.